Hey, hey, what up, what up? Kosani here. Let's pwn some noobs. Occupy this ground. We're gonna take the shite that they give us. OP Spearman, am I right? Love this. I love these little maps. They're such blood baths. Might skin send the skeleton north to get this tower. I don't want my commander gone for very long. I thought about getting an archer, but I wanted. I'm not gonna have m m enough money next turn either, but I want a trebuchet. We are against Paralethodox. By the way, if any guys want to ever become a YouTube celebrity and get owned by Kasani, or own Kasani. You could uh, 1v1 me, bro. I. I mean, it would be a, a learning experience oh, for either clothes. one of us. I want to start getting into tournaments and stuff too if this game starts getting big at all. Alright, so I need 900. I've got 750. I have 1250 next time. It's not enough for both of these. I'll just spam a spear. If he was smart, if he's smart, he would move up to right here. I'm getting a trebuchet next turn, and I'm pushing him back. I got two spears. I got a commander that charges in one turn. I'm gonna add more cushion for the pushing, so to speak. Just gotta watch out for the weather. Weather is one thing I don't do a good job of watching. I think that guy's actually Am in range. I One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. It's fine, I'll just back up one. Put my commander here. I don't want to get cut off and have to run him across the river. But I don't think I will. Push the wrong fucking button. Yeah, I just want to move back one. It's fine. Got enough for our trebuchet. Now he could get a ballista. But I would get another trebuchet and I would just bum rush him with extra skeletons and cheap units and yeah I'm gonna eat a shot or two from the ballista but spoiler alert two trebuchets beat a ballista ah that was a mistake having that skeleton weight yeah if it gets any air units I'm gonna get a ballista Trebuchet right there. One, two. I mean, yeah, I'm pushing aggressively. One, two, three, four, five. 
As long as I don't come to right here, I'll be fine. Almost did it again. I like I applied pressure to my mouth button, but it didn't click. <laughs> God, these menus. I mean, I'm playing. I'm probably playing too fast. Sure. What's our gonna be strategy? What's our strategy after this? More OP spearmen. Probably save money. Sure. Can't hit me. Can hit me, but we'll die. Can hit me, but we'll die. So right now we have more real estate. He can't. One, two, three, four, five. Closest he can put his trebuchet is right there. Which is actually a pretty defensible location. Actually, never mind. <laughs> no, it's not, because he can't put anybody in front of it. I would just trebuchet that. Run up, whack the trebuchet. God, 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 God damn hiccups. I think the opponent's hacking. So I usually don't get hiccups like that. Do you guys, do any of you guys get, like, PvP anxiety? Because I remember when I first started StarCraft, it, not only me, but a lot of people had PvP anxiety. Like, you would just, you just, you want to play, but you just have, like, this dread of losing or messing up or embarrassing yourself or something and yeah it doesn't make a lot of sense like how do you get over that well by doing it but I just remember I would just have the screen up and be ready to ready to hit whatever start game and I would just hesitate for a long time I no longer get that and I haven't had it with this game but, but let me got, let, let me know what you guys think about. Do you get PvP anxiety? If you do, how do you deal with it? All right. Um, I don't necessarily want this archer hitting my trebuchet. One, two, three, four, five. I don't care if. My soldiers get shot though. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. If I put it here, the skeleton can get it. We're gonna kind of inch up. Maybe we can get this town. One, two, three, four, five. We're one range out of this town. Siege weapons cannot go down there. Go ahead and get the ballista. That prevents him from getting air units, and of course, uh, we're charged. So if he doesn't cover that ballista, I'm suiciding at a skeleton. One, two, three, four, five. He has to hold right here, or he's in range. Got a thousand dollars. He can't afford a dragon. He can't afford a golem. Uh, I didn't realize that. that kind of sucks. Maybe I'll back up one. I don't really want my commander getting shelled like that. Turn to dust. I could move right here. Two. Could move right here. Make the skeleton. That's risky, though. That's too risky. One, two. 
Oh, it's it's good weather. Shit. It wasn't a range mistake. It was a time slash weather mistake. That's fine. I'm gonna kill this archer. One, two, three, four, five. And then, yeah, I'm gonna kill this archer no matter what. One, two, three. The skeleton here. One, two, three, four. It's the trebuchet. Harpy, I'm not scared of at all. Ah! Fuck me! I can't get that archer. But I can... Got lucky, or they are really playing the weather well. One, two, three, four, five. Let's not make another mistake like that. Rise from your grave. Harpy, I feel like, is a waste of money. Trebuchet and Ballista cover my ground soldiers. I feel like this harpy is a waste of money unless he brings it over here. But that would not be smart. Yeah, why why did he get that? I mean he could fly over here and start attacking the stuff, but this stuff fights back. I can't hit much. So yeah, the, a question I have is, Trebuchet's range is critical at max range. Now does that vary with the weather or is it always five, no matter what? I assume it would change with the weather, but who knows. This archer needs to run or he's going to die. Could reinforce Valder next turn if I want. Or could just try to use him as bait. Which is risque. One, two. One, two. Three, four, six, Sigrid moves up. I'm bum rushing her. She can't move up. This archer's dead. I'm rushing up. Especially if he doesn't attack this guy. He doesn't really have a choice, though. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Is the weather going to turn good next turn? So if he doesn't do anything about this guy, I'm whacked in this trebuchet.
keep in mind harpies are critical over mountains. But they don't hurt commanders that much, and Wilder's in the forest. Not real worried about it. Homie, you better... You better cover your trebuchet, probably with this guy. Oh. Well, we know exactly what... 32, that's it? I mean, it's cost effective. Harpy on this. One, two, three, four, five. Wants to bring this harpy down and get my. Oh, I need air. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I need a. I need an anti air. Whittle down his units. He now has no melee units. So at worst, I'm going to lose three. Alright, that's our turn. <laughs> so this harpy hits here. One, two, three, four, five. This mage should get him. If he hits the trebuchet, the ballista will get it. This trebuchet is hurt, so it won't even do full damage. One, two, three, four, five. This one can critical this spearman he's, he's running out of options here yeah apparently on reddit they had a a tournament which I was not aware of until it had already started but yeah, I'd be interested in something like that. I just didn't know what was going on. I mean, I'm still learning the game. Everybody's still learning the game. I mean, the, the, by the game, I mean the basics, much less the meta. Which is going to take a long time to flesh out. Hopefully the developers are committed to... making the game, keeping the game competitive and balanced. If the del if Chucklefish is not committed to keeping things balanced, oh wow, interest bold move, Cotton. Will it pay off? If the developers are not real committed in keeping it balanced, then PvP is gonna die fast because there are just some dumb maps. There's a map where there's two. It's like a river. Oh, he didn't get the spearman. That was a mistake. There's a map where there's a river in the middle and bump with two barracks and bum rushing the barracks is auto win because you can spam a golem and then you take control of the middle. There's a snow map where there's two towers at the very bottom and they're like four spaces 
maybe, well, maybe, probably more like six, six spaces away from each other. And the first person that gets there gets to make a witch, and then the next person just doesn't get to make air units, I guess. So that's kind of dumb. Oh, well, that's disappointing. But it doesn't matter that I can't whack on the... Uh, trebuchets, as long as my stuff is, is in range of his barracks. Yeah, this harpy did not pay for itself. Balder's back in the fight, or he's moved, making his way back into the fight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This, this is where I want this. Sigurd, we're not scared of you. We have commander on commander up here. We're gonna wait. I don't want to take any damage. This is a critical hit. It's almost worthless. The question is, do I want to finish this guy up or do I want to try to rush these? This game's over, like, either way. Soon, I will be able to make units, and he will not. Who do I want to make? I've already got a mate. I've got two anti-airs. And this game is over. Let's get another... No, let's get, let's get our own air units, actually. I just want to see some harpy action. Forces him to get a... Uh, a witch, which is not at all going to help him down here. This map is not big enough for air units. I mean, there's some good mountains up here, but... One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, a uh, ballista right here covered just in these like four squares, five squares maybe, will cover everything. So, harpies are useless. Dragons are useless. Unless you can like bum rush the ballista, which is possible. But if the other person knows the dragon's in range, then they would also make a, either a second ballista or a mage. Right. I mean, he loses this. It's over, right? Am I mistaken? He can't get air. He can't get air units. He's gonna lose his barracks. Oh, he can get air units, but they're heavily countered by what I've got. Yeah, I can still use those guys to critical with. Yeah, move him right there. Move this guy right here. Critical of this. Six is actually in range of this. I guess he's just hoping that I overextend. But, uh, spoiler alert, that ain't gonna happen. Here come threatened Sigrid. Guess he's trying to protect this tower, but, I mean, this game is over. I'm going to produce units out of his own barracks. One, two, three, four, five. Which, yeah, he can hit it, but... That's a turn he's using, not attacking my soldiers. So let's move right here, closer to the action. What do you guys think of these small maps? Like, is it 
Is it too big of an advantage? Does the first player to take their turn get too big of an advantage? Is air units worthless? What I'd like to see, we've got a, I, I know you guys are, I've seen a lot of people on Reddit who, um, are making custom maps. I know you guys, and uh, the StarCraft community was helped a lot by custom map makers. So I want to know. Can we get a multiplayer scene going? Get rid of all these vanilla maps, which, I mean, there's a couple of them I like, but there's, there, number one, there's too many. There's just too many maps. Quantity, quality over quantity. And number two, they're not balanced. They're not balanced, I don't know. And again, it's hard for the developers to, to try to determine where the meta's gonna go, but. That's where map evolution comes in. You make you make new maps that are balanced. You fine tune units that are overpowered. I can't believe this guy's still in this game. I guess he's kind of hoping that he can eventually wear down these foot soldiers, but I mean, they're just going to keep coming. Plus, I have a commander that makes foot soldiers. Sigurd, so you're going to start taking damage if you don't get out. By the way, I had no, I wasn't even thinking when I made this archer. I'm just kind of doing things, just trying to this game over with. Fair wins. Now I do have to be careful to make sure that his trebuchets can't hit mine. Even if they did, I don't I don't think there's much coming back. But. Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. Oh. I kinda want to use Balder to tank with. Or not to tank, but to perish. Yeah, tank. So I don't want him to kill my foot soldiers. dragon yeah now well, I guess he could make a witch right there I was gonna say now he's to the point where he can't even make air units this is and, and I, I hate to keep going back to Starcraft but it is multiplayer strategy it's considered bad manner to do this if it's clear that you have very little or no chance of coming back. It's bad manner to try to draw out this game because you're just wasting both of our time. You're, you're wasting my time. You're wasting your own time. Like, what's, what, what is the point? Does he really think he has a big chance of coming back? I mean, I get... I get never give up, never surrender. I get that. You know, and I get, well, in the spirit of the game, you should do your best and and never give up. You know, I get that, but you're just wasting our time. This isn't professional gaming. This How is two foolish. internet noobs Good going night. at it. You know, don't waste our time. It's smart. He killed this one. Not 
smart. By the way, if anybody, if any player ever sees this, these videos that I make, you know, I, I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm just trying to. I want the multiplayer community to get more competitive, and you don't get more competitive unless you learn. You don't learn unless you lose and get your mistakes pointed out to you. Let me know what you guys think of the balance, the maps, um, possibility of us going to a user-based map pool with multiplayer. Kosani out.